Hey, what's going on YouTube? Zephyr here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a player's online display like I have on the side of the screen there. Uh, first things first, make sure you go ahead and click the download link in the description. There is a newer version um, that I'm going to be adding in the link down in the description, so make sure to go ahead and update that. That just fixes some bugs that people might be having. Uh, make sure to install it into your resource packs. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, so using I uh, just using this display I want to uh, first off go ahead and just let you guys know that this design was actually uh, based off of a video or creation made by Samster10YT and Daycom Black Rose. They made a ID system for players online and this is just using that to be able to display the players online. Uh, let me go ahead and just show you real quick. So on my hotbar here you guys are just going to need these couple of things, a repeating command block, normal command block, chain command block, redstone comparator, redstone, and an observer. I'm just going to go ahead and add this up here just so that it's active. But I'm going to go ahead and have my alt account join right now and watch the side as they join. It's going to go from 1 out of 10 to 2 out of 10. You guys should be able to see that once it joins. There we go. Now it's at 2 out of 10. As you can see, my uh, secondary account is right over here, just over here. And if I go ahead and have them leave the game, well, let me do that real quick. Now it went from 2 out of 10 down to 1 out of 10. Um, as you can see, there's only one person online. And uh, yeah, that's basically how the system functions. Now let's go ahead into how to build the system. I'm just going to move that up there. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's get this started. Let me turn this off. But let's just go over here. You're going to want to make a layout just like this. You're going to want to take your server, put it down so that it's facing this way. Redstone, redstone comparator. And then let's just go back over here. You're going to want to do this and then this. And then right before we put commands into this, you guys are going to want to do scoreboard, objective, add. ID and the dummy. I already have it, so I'm not going to. Well, I guess I can, but it already exists for me. So just go ahead and type in that command into the chat to add the ID scoreboard into the game. But then in here in the impulse, we're going to do scoreboard objectives remove ID and then scoreboard objectives add ID dummy. This is basically for whenever a new player joins, it just refreshes the whole system. And then next you're going to want to take a repeating command block, test for at all. You can just leave this off for the moment because we're just going to build up from here and then we'll uh, turn it on at the end. And then we're going to want to build up one, two, three, four. I'm just going to build up three for now because I already got the top one in my inventory because it's a little bit longer. But what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to add all players to the scoreboard. So scoreboard players add at all ID zero. So this is basically just going to initiate to add everybody to the scoreboard. Um, and then from here we're going to do execute at P with a scores equal to and in curly brackets make sure to close all this off. You're going to want to do ID equals to zero. And then tilde tilde tilde. And we're going to do scoreboard players add and then we're going to do ID count doesn't really matter how you spell this here but just remember how you spelt it for later and then we're going to want to do the name of the scoreboard which is ID and then we're going to do add one right and then we're going to do scoreboard players operation and then at P with the scores equal to let me make sure to close that off ID equals zero. I'm gonna do ID equals ID count ID. So basically, what this is gonna do is, when a new player joins the game, this is gonna activate, remove, and then re-add the scoreboard. Then it's gonna re-add everybody to the scoreboard, and then it's going to executing at the closest player with the score of zero. It's gonna add one to ID count. And then set them equal to ID count. So I'm going to add another command block here just so you guys can see. 
you don't need this. This is just strictly for displaying purposes. So we're going to do scoreboard objective set to play set display sidebar ID. And let's go ahead and activate this. As you can see over there is uh, me on the side there and then ID count one. And we are going to actually work on how I made the display on the side there. That's where the resource pack comes into play. I'm going to go ahead and set that up. I think this is turned off. Yeah, okay. So this is basically just doing a title raw command at all for title. And then it's going to do a text based system here saying players online and then make sure to do this count or word for word if you want to make it exactly like mine. Um, and then it's going to display the count uh, from the scoreboard of ID. It's going to display ID counts number and then out of 10. So it's going to be so the number one there is how many people's online, but that's also ID counts score. Um, so yeah, I actually can't get my other account back into here, but trust me, it works. Uh, when a new player joins, um, if I'm the closest player, I'll be set to one, and the next closest player will be set to two, and then so on and so forth, all the way up to 11 if you're on a realm, because the owner doesn't count as one of the 10 players that can join the realm, or on a uh, private world, it could go up to 30 if you do set max players, and then up to 30 is the max it'll allow you. But yeah, so then we can just remove that and then to update it, just do that. And just make sure to do this, like I said, word for word to allow you to have it display the same as I have over here. If you don't have that resource pack involved or installed, like I was talking about, and added to your world, it's just going to display in the middle of the screen. If you don't want it to, uh, if you don't want to download the resource pack, what you can actually do is instead of doing title raw at all title, you can replace this spot right here with action bar. You can do instead of title raw at all title and then the rest of the command, you can actually do action bar because then it'll allow it to display above the bottom of your screen. Uh, give me a second, I'll actually try and display that real quick. It might look a little buggy for me because I have a outdated version of the uh, let's add a tick delay outdated version um, of the resource pack, so it won't be flickering like that if you uh, if you don't have the resource pack or if you do have the resource pack and you want to do it on action bar, it won't be flickering like that. That's just due to a uh, outdated version of the resource pack, but uh, yeah, it does work. Uh, yeah, and that's all. Uh, if you guys like the video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and then comment any questions or ideas that you have. Um, my dis Discord is also in the description, so if you have any questions or want to message me privately on there, go ahead and do that. And yeah, this is Zephyr, and you guys take care. Peace out.